Craft versus host disease, whether acute or chronic, remains a major complication of allogenic stem cell transplantation. When it comes to acute GVHD, first-line therapy is based on corticosteroids, but we know very well that many patients are going either to fail corticosteroids, these are the so-called steroid refractory patient, but also some patients will become uh, corticodependent, steroid dependent, and this is problematic because of the long-term side effects of steroids in these patients. For many, many years, several decades, all trials in steroid refractory acute GVHD have failed. And until very recently, uh, there was no so-called standard of care. What we have seen in the last uh, few months is the advent of ruxolitinib as a valid treatment option for the corticosteroid refractory acute GVHD. And this is now approved in the US by FDA thanks to the so-called REACH-1 trial just published in blood by Dr. Jagasia and colleagues. But more recently, the international phase three randomized trial, the REACH-2 the trial published by Dr. Zeisser and colleagues. So for the near future, it is likely that ruxolitinib is going to become uh, a major uh, treatment for steroid refractory acute GVHD. However, we should not neglect the fact that many patients continue uh, to uh, be resistant and ruxolitinib may not be successful in all patients. So there is a new subgroup of patients emerging. Uh, these are the patients I would call ruxolitinib resistant uh, patients uh, where we still need to uh, develop new options. So it's extremely uh, important to have this in mind. On one hand, a lot of optimism uh, because of the uh, introduction of a, a new effective option like ruxolitinib in corticosteroid refractory acute GVHD, but also taking into account all those patients who will not respond or who will fail to ruxolitinib. When we consider chronic GVHD, we know also that this is really a very hard complication. It can alter the quality of life of the patient, and long-term immunosuppression has a lot of side effects. The field is also moving slowly, but definitely in the right direction. We have already uh, ibrutinib uh, approved in the U.S. Uh, in chronic GVHD, and this is really great news. Uh, photophoresis is more and more used. But also, like in the acute GVHD uh, field, uh, JAK inhibitors uh, are being tested, and uh, we're looking forward to see uh, these results uh, in the uh, near future. So, overall, uh, after I would say that after several years of stagnation, the field of GVHD is really moving uh, in the right direction with new options uh, being uh, available uh, to the patient. And this is really very good news.